July 3rd. It's the day before the 4th, um, before we take off to Las Vegas. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm getting my things ready. I got the kids clothes packed. I'm putting my stuff together, just kind of getting things organized before we leave tomorrow. The one thing I'm doing is I'm getting my hair ready, um, my front lace wigs. Um, I do, like, this one's my blonde one. See, I'm just kind of washing them, prepping them, and just kind of getting them ready. So, yes, um, I know in my videos I've never... Well, I've, you, you've guys seen me with my black one on, but when I normally put the black one on, I mix in my front of my hair and to make it look more natural. So, but the blonde ones, um, you've seen me. Actually, yeah, you guys seen me with my blonde one on in my videos a little bit. But normally I don't talk about my hair. Um, so I just, I kind of figured if any of you are interested, um, I was just going to kind of show you what hair I'm bringing, um, I like to change up my style a lot. I like to keep my hair short, especially living in Arizona. It gets hot here, and the last thing I want is long hair. But when I do want long hair, I go and purchase my lace frontals, um, which I, I love doing that because I don't want to damage my real hair, and I'm a person that likes to have different hair colors, and... What's the best way to do it is wear lace frontal wigs. So I got this one. I got this blonde one right here. I got to remove some of the excess glue and wash it and condition it and stuff like that. The other one I got is my black one. Um, it's soaking and rubbing alcohol right now because I got to scrub off the glue. But I'll show you guys which one I'm talking about. Okay, so here's my black one. Soaking and rubbing alcohol right now. Like... Got to take off. I'm going to be scrubbing off that glue and then I'm going to wash and air dry it. So I'm going to take that one with me tomorrow. I'm going to take that one because I'm not sure which one I want to wear. And I do have another one up in the closet up here, which this one's a. Um, I'll show you guys real quick actually. These right here are just my clip and extensions. This one right here, I do like this one. This one is a kind of a two-tone wig. This one looks really good on me too because I can leave out my front of my hair and mix it in with a wig, which makes it look really natural. So that is the one that I have. Um, I used to have a red one as well. I don't know what happened to that one, and I used to have a purple one too. That's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm just getting my hair together and just getting prepping things. Um, <clears throat> here in a couple hours, I got to go get my daughter from Walmart. We're going to go do some shopping. I'm going to go buy the kids' shirts for the 4th tomorrow so I can get that picture of them. And, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm just going to be prepping my hair and taking the glue off. So I'm going to go get my hair and we'll do that real quick. So I'm going to get this glue off and hopefully it comes off really easy. This brush right here is made for my wigs. So hopefully it comes off easy. Coming off, so I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Here, let me move this bolt. So, if you guys see this glue right here, it's all around the edges. That's what I'm trying to remove. It's not easy, but I want to make sure that my hair is prepped for tomorrow. I've been wearing lace frontals now for, I would say, for about a year now. Um, 
I really do like wearing them. At first, when I first started wearing them, they got to be uncomfortable. Um, but it was just all about, you know, just getting used to it, learn how to wear them, that kind of thing. Now, these are lace frontals, which meaning the lace is only on the front part of the wig here. Now, a full lace wig is where you'll have this lace all throughout the cap which those are the best ones, but they're a little bit more expensive. Which the, which they are expensive. Um, but if you want a really good wig that looks really natural, you wanna get a full lace wig that's 100% human hair. That's, um, if you want a real good one, but in order to get a good one, you have to spend the money for it. They can run you between a hundred to almost six hundred dollars. So I mean, they are expensive. So, but if you're a person like me who still wants a good-looking lace frontal, and you don't want to, you know, break the bank, and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on it, then definitely the synthetic lace frontals are perfect because I believe this I think this wig cost me total I think with tax it was $70 it wasn't bad here in Arizona there's a lot of like wig shops all over the place um, so it makes it really easy I actually I got to go swing by there today I got to go get some more glue because I like to glue my mine down so that way <laughs> it doesn't fall off or anything like that. So yeah, so what I'm doing right now is I'm doing it in a circular motion like this. So as you guys can see, it's just comes off. Now, when I first done it, actually, when I first done this, Normally, I would just, the first time I tried to remove the glue off this wig, I would just dip my toothbrush, uh, and this is not a used toothbrush, it's a brand new toothbrush that I bought strictly for this. I dipped it in the rubbing alcohol, and then I would try to get it off, and then I noticed it wouldn't really come off. But this time, I thought, hmm, what happens if I let the wig, um, and the lace sit in the rubbing alcohol for at least 20 minutes. And, and I'm noticing that actually it's coming off way easier. So that is the trick, people. If you are trying to remove the wig glue off your lace frontal, soak your lace and rubbing alcohol for at least 20 minutes and then take a toothbrush and do in a circular motion and it's actually coming off pretty easy. I am very surprised. That is awesome. That is amazing, actually. I wish I would have thought about this earlier or almost a year ago, but when I'm at Walmart later, I'm gonna see if I can find a cute little outfit for me to wear. Something cute, because after the 4th of July fireworks, me and David are gonna just go walk the Vegas Strip, spend some time together, maybe grab a margarita or something like that. Just spend that time together. I'm really looking forward to it. The kids are really excited now. They can't wait to go. But. We are going to be leaving about 9.30 to 10 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be a five and a half hour drive for us. Um, so, and I know we're going to be making potty breaks and especially, you know, with being with seven kids, they're going to want to use the bathroom. So I got a plan where we're gonna eat and things like that. But 
Yeah, this coming off easy. Just doing a circular motion. Not bad. Yeah. So when I'm gonna finish this up and then I will be back when I have it all done, okay? Okay, so I got all the glue off. So now I'm gonna show you. in the hair and I'm gonna wash that off but all the glue is off the lace um, I'm stuck on all the glue is off the lace there you go and then this little one that's in the hair it's gonna come off with the shampoo with the shampoo and conditioner and after I comb it so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna shampoo it and condition it and then I will be back Shampoo it. Okay. Get um, make sure to shampoo the lace. I'm going to rinse it off. I want to make sure that all this glue comes off. Okay, which it actually did, which is good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to condition it. through it. Okay. 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 Condition it when we good. Okay. Okay. All right. That looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so I let it sit for a few minutes. See, now that it's conditioned, it's all nice and clean. Yeah, see, it looks really good. I don't know if you guys can see that in the light, but. That's not glue, that's it's a light or something, but. 
Yeah, looks pretty good. So I'm going to rinse it off now. I'm going to spray some of this. This has coconut oil in it. That's what this is. It's coconut oil because I, I use coconut oil in my hair every day, in my natural hair. Oh. I'm going to have to add some more water. Hold on a second. Yeah, otherwise, it's too thick. bottle is slippery okay so I'm gonna spray that good throughout my hair so that way it's nice and conditioned because coconut oil is really good for your hair really good so now I'm gonna brush it but be very gentle you don't want to rip your hair out <laughs> Like that. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, and that's how she looks when it's all done. So now I'm gonna go let it air dry, and then I'm gonna check on the blown one and see if I need to do anything with it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm actually gonna double check the blown one because I think there might be a little, yeah, see, I'll show you guys. I need to remove some glue off of this one so as you guys can see I'll show you guys it's kind of hard to see but you guys see that glue right here okay so here's the glue I need to remove right here okay I need to do that so I'm going to do the same thing as I just got done doing with the black one. I'm going to let this soak for a little bit in rubbing alcohol. And then I'm going to wash it, condition it, and take off the excess glue. Which this one, as you guys can see, it's not as bad as the black one. There's only like a little bit here. Um, not bad. And then also... The one thing about wearing blonde wigs and having platinum blonde hair is the tip I can give you guys is put on your makeup before you put on your hair because what happens is makeup will get on your front edges right there. It will get all around your rim of your frontal of your hair because you guys see how dark some of this blonde hair is in the in the front um, yeah makeup gets on blonde hair really easy so definitely get your face all done and 
then put on your lace front. So I'm going to do that. And then also, these are the contacts I'm going to be wearing with my blonde hair, if I wear my blonde hair. I can't decide between, I can't decide between the blonde or the black. I'll post some pictures here. And you guys can tell me which one looks better. Do you guys like the blonde or do you guys like the black? But these are the, I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, these are gray contacts that I wear with this wig. If I wear my black wig, I just don't put on any contacts. I just let my natural brown color be it because it looks better with black anyway. So I will see you guys back in a few minutes. I'm going to get this done and then we will do the rest of the stuff that we need to do to get ready for tomorrow. Okay, so my blonde one is done. Got the glue off. I already washed it. It's conditioned right now, so I'm going to rinse off the conditioner and let it air dry. of the water out if you can and the towel okay like that okay all righty let's see okay looks really good very good Spray some coconut oil on it so I can let it air dry. Okay. Just gonna brush it. Oh, yeah. So now it's let's comb through. I'm gonna let it air dry and then that'll be it. And both of the hairs will be done. So I just got done doing my hair, um, letting the blonde one dry, and then my black one is already all packed and nicely to go. Um, I do got to go get some glue for my hair. Mom, can you use the um, charger for your phone? And all the kids' clothes are packed here. I got oh. my clothes for the fifth when we leave the hotel here. David still has to pick out his outfit, what he's going to wear. Um, I don't know what to wear. I do want to buy a new dress, but also at the same time, I really, I really like the black one. Well, this one. This one's cute. The pink one's cute, too. I really think you should wear But I don't know. Or I might just buy a new dress. We'll see. I don't know which one, but yeah, that black one she's holding is, I do like that one. I'll have, I'll have to get. I actually almost fit in all of her shoes, actually. Well, I actually do. I just, I just have to get some black heels with them. Or and I'll something. fit in those, too. Yeah. What are you doing in my closet? I'm sneak. You're, you're hiding. I'm going inside. Are you being sneaky? I'm going, I'm going to go inside clothes. <laughs> So, I actually. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna go like, 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 Are you g
I have two feet in all of her shoes for some reason. And I don't know how. Our feet Because we like, have the same size. Yeah, and that's like weird when we're like... It's okay, she steals my shoes all the time. No, no I don't. <laughs> you steal my shoes. <laughs> I do st I do shoes. steal her shoes. Okay, so so I will end the video here. I just wanted to kind of do this short little clip for you guys of my hair. I know it's an odd video for me to do because it's normally not the type of videos I do, but I just kind of figured I'd show you Upstairs. the type of hair I wear, um, the colors I, like I wear, and, and things like that, and showing you the process the of how to take the glue off the front and lace wigs. And um, if any of you are interested, if you want to know how I put on my lace frontals, let me know in the comment below and I will do a video on that one. So until next time, and see you guys on the 4th. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!